Good afternoon, everyone. Kevin Mercurio here from uh, Les Inspections Mercurio. For those of you that are just tuning into this channel, I'm a residential building inspector and the owner of Les Inspections Mercurio uh, Building Inspection Company. And today I'd like to talk to you about uh, lintels. Uh, so, excuse the noise around. This video has to be done outside so you can see exactly what a lintel is, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Uh, so lintels are supporting structures above doors and windows. So anytime you, anytime, excuse me, you have a, a structure that is opening, and you need to support the uh, brick siding above it, like you see here, you need a lintel. So same thing for this window here and that door right there. Okay. Uh, it's fairly rare to see them in uh, openings and foundations. So sometimes you have windows and uh, basements. Uh, I very rarely see them, but it is still necessary. You should be having them in foundation openings to support the, the concrete above that opening, okay? Uh, so lintels are for load-bearing structures. So you can have lintels that are made in wood, uh, steel, concrete, or any other type of uh, stone or masonry. But today we're going to be talking about uh, steel lintels, okay? Uh, and the problems they have, uh, how to maintain them, and the solutions. So you can avoid getting those problems to begin with. Uh, so the problem to begin with with steel lintels, as you may realize, is that uh, unless they're protected, they will gradually rust a little more each year. Okay, first you're going to have surface rust, which is not a big deal. You can scrape that off and, and clean it up. Uh, but if it gets worse, your steel is going to rust a bit more. And then the steel, what happens is that when it rusts from the inside, uh, it expands. And as you can imagine, when steel expands, uh, because you have a lintel that is wedged between uh, brick or masonry or anything else, any type of supporting stone, um, it will expand. So when the steel expands, the brick and the mortar will crack. And that's why you have larger gaps, big openings, uh, when uh, lintels are not maintained properly. And what does this do? This, the corrosion, the, the corrosion eventually leak, um, weakens. Excuse me, the lintel, uh, and because there's a gap, it's going to create openings for water infiltration. Uh, pests can get in the building envelopes. So this is something we don't encourage. So it's better to uh, protect and to maintain than to have to correct the issue later on. Okay, uh, and this obviously will uh, affect the structural integrity of your wall so this becomes depending on the severity of the lintel and how corroded or how far how far gone it is uh, this becomes a collapsing hazard uh, for the building uh, one thing to keep in mind is that when we're talking about home insurance uh, coverage um, collapsing from a lintel that is corroded or in bad shape is not usually covered by home insurance okay uh, collapsing due to a lack of maintenance is not something that they cover so it's very important to keep up with your maintenance and I'm going to explain to you how to keep up with the maintenance for your uh, steel lintels in just a minute okay uh, so the solution what do you do if you find a lintel on your house a lintel over your window or a lintel over your door that is in bad shape or it's corroded simple sell the house no I'm kidding okay so there are ways to maintain this uh, maintenance and regularly monitoring, monitoring it okay so preferably annually uh, so these are steps that I'm going to uh, break down for you uh, what I strongly recommend is that they're carried out by either a professional painter or a mason who will know how to do this also uh, so step one when you're maintaining your lintels depending on how, how far gone they're corroded or if it's just surface rust is uh, scraping them okay get a flat putty knife and remove the rust and the dirt that's on the lintel okay and again this is a lintel it's a steel lintel that goes across the opening of your doorway okay uh, sanding uh, make the surface smooth okay this is always better so the paint can adhere to it uh, and next you're going to apply a rust inhibitor which is essentially a paint and it protects the metal even more from rust okay step four you're going to apply a primer and what that primer does is it helps the paint adhere to the metal surface even more after uh, sanding it down okay uh, rust proof paint would be the next step uh, it prevents the rust from reappearing uh, so we had a lot of rust proof paint brands there's trim clad there's a lot of other ones that are really trustworthy if you're not sure let me know i'll refer you one and step six is a bit of an optional step but i found in my experience that it does help strengthen and uh, 
extend the longevity of your uh, lintel. Uh, this is a two-part epoxy compound that you can apply to the lintel, and what it does is it makes the lintel more uh, rust-proof. So this is, you know, this is a very good uh, advantage for you, especially if you're doing all of them at once. Just do all these six steps, and your lintels are going to last uh, quite a while. Okay. Now, what happens if you get to your lintel and it's too late? been uh, putting it off putting it off putting it off and your lintel is in real bad shape and it's really corroded okay um, there could perhaps be cracking on the adjacent wall that has started to occur okay sometimes like I said if the lintel is rusted too far gone the weight of the brick structure will be weighing down on the lintel and it'll create cracks here step cracks in the brick in the brick excuse me uh, sadly if it's gone that to that point uh, the work that you'll need to do is uh, a bit invasive. Uh, badly rusted lintels can be replaced, but like I said, it is an invasive job. Uh, you have to remove the brick to replace the lintel. You have to remove a section of the brick on the, the sides of the lintel. Uh, assuming it isn't a lintel that is shared with a window, we see that often one long lintel, um, one long lintel that is shared with the door and the window so you'd have to verify this first otherwise that is even more of an invasive project um, what if there's really bad cracking okay what if you get to the lintel and you see that the the, the cracking is you have step step um, cracking on your bricks or your or your stucco uh, siding or whichever siding you have and um, it's really bad okay so uh, this now becomes a structural issue uh, it becomes a danger to the people that are in the property and uh, it may even impact uh, you in trying to sell your property if you've just noticed these issues while trying to put your house on the market uh, and at that point one of the only things you need to do or one of the only things you can do is rebuild a section of the wall and like I said this starts to get expensive so uh, better to uh, maintain than to fix okay, as I always say uh, maintenance is the key uh, so essentially to sum up for today uh, lintels while they are small uh, they are critical structural elements in your building and they need to be maintained regularly it's gonna cost you a lot less money down the line to maintain one than to have to replace one that has been corroded okay uh, they need to be maintained regularly like I just said and if they are not maintained, you there can be big problems that will uh, eventuate, even uh, structural problems, as we sometimes see with the, uh, the step cracking over here. Okay, uh, so I apologize for the noise today. This video had to be done outside, so you can get a. Uh, a real good feel for what a lintel is and how it functions. Like I said, uh, not all lintels are made of steel. Some are masonry, uh, some are wood, some are concrete and other types of stone. Okay, so it really depends on your property. Uh, when in doubt, if you have questions on how to maintain them, a uh, concrete um, a concrete lintel will be maintained differently than a steel lintel. If you have questions about how to do so, uh, leave a comment. Uh, in the comment sections of this video or give me a call I'd be happy to help thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye